Hey guys, it's Eric Silvermoon. Uh, today is technically the first video of 2017, even though I really wanted the last video to be kind of like the, the beginning of 2017 for me. So technically this one's the first one, but I say it's the second one. Who's to say? <laughs> um, but I'm really excited because today I actually attempted to mess around with polymer clay and attempted to create my own kind of jewelry. Um, of course, I'm not venturing into uh, for for like um, kind of like for sale. This was just for fun for myself. Um, the reason I wanted to explore it is just that um, on Yule, um, Eric bought me a uh, amethyst pendant, and it came with this really cute little like uh, pentacle and. Um, I lost it. it like the gem fell off and I was really really disappointed because it was super cute um, and I can't find it anywhere I remember like when I was about to take it off to go to sleep um, I noticed the whole gemstone was completely gone and I was so bummed so I was like you know what I'm gonna try to create my own that way I know it kind of just it faceted it and, and it, it kind of sticks but then I ended up buying a different one but I was like you know what I bought the polymer clay Let's just have fun. Let's see how it comes out. And I think it came out really cute. And so I'm gonna show you kind of what I did. I'm gonna zoom in here. Um, so this is what I created. It's a amethyst, it's like two little amethyst. There's a clear quartz point and then a full moon clear quartz face. And I just did like little designs on both sides. And the back is kind of where, you know, it baked. Um, but yeah, I think it came out really cute. That's the school bell. <laughs> I live behind the school. Um, it's super earthy and kind of like butchina, and I, I kind of dig it. So, yeah, and so I wanted to share that with you. It's just a little exploration, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it inspires you to create your own, um, your own kind of jewelry or any kind of thing like that. Um, I've been exploring different ways to be creative, not just with painting and drawing. Um, I'm kind of allowing my soul to speak in different facets of, of art artistry if you if you will and so I've never I never tried uh, attempted to do this and so I was actually surprised how I came out so if you guys want to stick around and watch the rest of the video check out how I created it and how it came up um, I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video all right you guys so I just kind of begin kind of just by like massaging the clay um, it's just black polymer clay I also used um, what's it called uh, my athame to kind of either scrape or um, do kind of designs or indents um, just like different tools like this one's actually just like a paintbrush I'm using the ends of it to kind of smooth out surfaces um, I have this piece of incense stick just to see if I could use the wood to design um, I also have a stamp um, two pieces of amethyst and I have also a clear quartz point that I wanted to use and then you see there the kind of like full moon pendant um, that actually broke off it was a pendant in the little metal thing the the little uh, eye lit thing uh, to hang actually broke off so I was very disappointed but hey you get to create something new out of it um, so the first thing that I just started doing is um, that's kind of what I wanted I kind of wanted to them be together somehow like that so we're just gonna mess around with the clay and see where it kind of goes from there so I just kind of began to kind of just play around with it um, I think that's the best thing with it just to have fun see different references that you might see online that you might like um, I kind of saw a couple YouTube videos and then after a while, like I, I stop using reference guides because reference guides, I just kind of let my imagination kind of take over. Um, I kind of already had a vision about what it was going to look like or what I wanted it to look like, and so I just kind of used that as my reference guide. Um, then I just kind of tried my best to kind of keep in the shape that I envisioned and then blend it as much as possible. I used that end of the um, paintbrush a lot um, it ended up actually smooth smoothing out the edges and helping me blend pieces of clay together um, I used that instant stick there just to kind of create the hole uh, where I wanted the um, necklace cord to go through um, then I kind of just shaped it with the the uh, end of the paintbrush and yeah you just kind of keep working it um, 
that's what, what's really great about the clay is that you could keep uh, working on it and until you find that shape that you really like. I definitely recommend working on a surface um, that's gonna be able to go into the oven. Um, this is actually a ceramic tile um, and so that actually helped me out a lot um, in terms of having a place to work with and putting in the in the oven that way. Um, and then I just kind of created a little area where I wanted to put the, the two amethyst crystals and I'm just blending everything together. And it, I think it's so far it's turning out great. And I, right there I used the ends of the stamp to kind of create these kind of like designs, kind of give it a little bit of like a tribal feel, something that you you would find like buried in like Thailand or some Egyptian desert, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I, I kind of left it with like the diff designs kind of bare because I'm not sure if I want to paint it later or um, do anything with it. But I think overall it came out kind of good and we are getting ready to take it into the oven soon. Alright, so here's the final piece, I guess. Um, it didn't come out that bad. I actually kind of dig it. It's really cute. It just has, you know, it's the first time I've ever done this. I can see a few fingerprint marks, but it's like, doesn't matter. Um, it's a really cool piece. I actually like it. The back, as you can see, it's kind of where I, I kind of had to scrape it off. And then I, I guess it wasn't completely cold, so a piece came off of it. But it's nice and hard. And I think it's cute. I even left the indents if I wanted to put a little jewel in there. Um, I could even paint it if I want to and um, do some kind of glaze or a finish look to it but overall I'm actually really happy with it so yay really really happy Woo! here's to uh, exciting new things trying different things for the first time um, so I'm kind of yeah I am actually happy about it it's really cool so thanks you guys for joining me in this little adventure and, and kind of testing it out and seeing how things are so I'm really happy about it so thank you guys so much blessed be